cauliflower steak. We just crashed it. You know, the birds are chirping, the lawn mowers are out, not a cloud in the sky. So we're just gonna be grilling while chilling today with some cauliflower steaks. So I've just got a little wax cube in here. Filled this little guy up. There's probably, I don't know, 20 coals. Light that wax cube up. Get this charcoal in this chimney. It lit up really quickly. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan or you're just looking for some healthier option, keep this root on, take all the greens off. Just gonna cut it into planks and grill them. Let's do it. Just take a little bit off. So there's gonna be some part here that won't stay together. Essentially what you want to do is just cut it in half. A small cauliflower will yield two, and you can save these to roast another time, or we can use them. What I'm doing is, while this is heating up, I'm gonna toast a little bit of the crumbled cauliflower and rice. <laughs> God bless you. And then toast breadcrumbs and some parsley and all that kind of stuff to make a topping with. It's also gonna be topped with a salad and the vinaigrette that I made in the last episode to tie things all together. I'm just trying to create a little texture for the cauliflower steak using some of its own pieces. We've just got the cauliflower steak marinating in some olive oil. I'll season it up really well with salt and pepper. I'm also going to add just a tad bit of Worcestershire sauce to give it just a little bit of a meatier flavor. All right, that looks about nice. And then basically we're just gonna go on with the cauliflower steak over direct heat. I want a little bit more color than that. It already smells like a steak. Oh, no. It goes through easily, so I know it's cooked. I'm sweating bullets over here, so I'm gonna bring it in the kitchen. We're gonna put it all together and wrap this one up. dressing I made in my last episode. This is like number one vegetarian dish right here. Obviously it doesn't taste like meat, but there's a palpable steak-like quality to it. And then you just dress it up. You have a nice sauce, but it's a healthy sauce. It's a vinaigrette. You got this Parmesan that adds great flavor and then a little spice and color from the chilies. This can be done on the stove. It can be done on a gas grill. Throw this in your repertoire, guys. Yeah, so this is what my hair looks like getting hot. I can't just wear the beanie every day. Thanks again for watching. I'm sorry um, I didn't release a video on Tuesday. Sometimes you gotta take a break, you know? So, uh, see you next time in the kitchen.